Late night nursing sessions are not your friend, especially whenever you get caught up in how to help that baby sleep, what to do for breastfeeding. You go down an endless rabbit hole of buying stuff off Amazon late at night. Don't do it. We're going to save you, okay? We're going to get into all the must-haves that you should spend your money on on new purchases for baby. Welcome back to Define Motherhood. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. Please visit us at our blog website, definemotherhood.com, where you'll see really wonderful content from this person. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is my sister, Cass. Um, she helps me with content and um, providing you guys with really great recommendations on our blog website. And today she's helping me out with her point of view um, on baby must-haves. So as sisters, we could not be more alike and yet very different. <laughs> very different. Um, she's a cloth diaper mama. I'm a disposable mm -hmm. diaper mama. Um, she likes to make her own baby food. I like to shop and find the healthiest baby food that I don't have to make. So <laughs> um, with that being said, that's the kind of culture we're trying to create at definemotherhood.com. So check us out. If you're returning, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell if you want to be notified <laughs> every time that I post. Before we jump into the fun stuff, I always like to caveat by saying these are my personal, well, our personal recommendations. Um, we are not certified or licensed in baby care, baby specialty. We're just two mamas making it in the world, okay? This is what has worked for us. <laughs> yes. This video is for um, informational and entertainment purposes only. Um, if you have any questions, as always, all of the uh, products that we list out are going to be in the description box below. Um, and this video is not sponsored. Everything that we are sharing with you, we have spent our hard on money on. So let's get into it. Yep. Um, the first category we have has to deal with like sleeping, right? That's like, I think the every mom like right out the gate is like when will I sleep again yeah it, it'll be a while the answer is never no I'm just kidding um so with that being said there are some things that you can do to help baby um kind of get into good sleep routines mm -hmm. to help you navigate that and have um less issues in terms of sleep training or whatever later down the road um so the first is I survived with um, having my child in the same room with me for the first at least I would say four months. Um, I believe the pediatric association recommends that you have baby in the same room sleeping for at least nine months now. It used to be 12 um, so that you have a lower risk of SIDS because you're able to monitor to them more closely. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, the things that we leveraged that worked for us was we had a co-sleeper that um, allowed us to have baby nearby for the first I would say month or so it was really helpful because baby likes to feel secure when they're sleeping um, also in terms of late night uh, nursing sessions it makes it very convenient to pick baby up and nurse them um, again this is monitored sleep um, you as a mom have to make that call as to how you're going to use these products but I do want to call that out the other thing that um, I recommend and I think you used also was a pack and play um, mm -hmm. pulled up to the bed. Um, this worked really well for us in terms of like overall use. If you've seen my videos, you know I like to have things used for multiple things and not just like a yeah. one and done. Um, so you're able to travel with it. It works really well for like nap times at relatives houses, anything like that. Um, but it worked really well for us in terms of a side sleeper as opposed to a bassinet or um, a pull-up sleeper yeah. that goes next to the bed. Okay, I would say one thing though, if you're gonna get the pack and play, spend the money, get the good one that has the multi-level mattress. We cheaped out and just got the like $30 Graco pack and play that does not, and I can tell you that was awful trying to pick him up and put him down from almost floor level in the middle of the night. So spend the money and get the one with the multi-level mattress. You live and you learn. You yes. live and you learn. Um, the next products that I would recommend, um, and this I've talked about previously in um, my newborn sleep tips video, which I'll link down below for you, is um, zip pajamas and um, zip swaddles. The other uh, products that we wanted to talk about are loungers or boppies. And mm. so I recommend these for me. They were really great um, when it came to giving my daughter some place to sit so I could eat. The lounger looks like this. Um, there's other brands you can purchase from. This is just Bobby branded. Um, but it basically gave like a really nice cradle section for her to lay in. Um, and then the actual Bobby pillows or um, they're really breastfeeding pillows. Um, you can get different um, covers for it. But 
I don't really like these for nursing and I don't even really like them for um, resting in terms of like letting baby sleep in them. If you want to give her a napping section, go with the lounger. Mm -hmm. But I do really like these for um, tummy time for babies as they get a little bit uh, bigger to help prop them up so they can start playing with toys in front of them. I also really like this for when they're practicing sitting up. You can stack these too high. Um, and I always like to bump it up against like the back of a couch or something so that if they <laughs> wobble or topple over, they kind of have like that plush airbag it system. It is definitely a lifesaver when they're learning to sit. So a good uh, a little safety net. She if knows. You will. She has a head bump kind of baby. <laughs> yes. So. Um, and then other than that, in terms of sleep, we recommend, um, again, setting up good sleep habits mm -hmm. for your baby. So things like room darkening curtains or blackout curtains, whatever your preference is, um, you just want to help them to distinguish between day and night, but you need to know your baby. Like her son, it would not happen. He's a terrible napper, always has been. So the blackout curtains are the way to go. Even now, he's 16 months old. I also recommend noise machine. I don't know if it's Dom or Dome. I'm going to say Dome. <laughs> this guy is for my son, and he's three, and we've had it since he was born. So they last a really long time. Um, they say this is, like, travel friendly. I would disagree. No. But they do <laughs> offer um, this little guy, which is the Rome. Um, I'm going to say it's Dome and Rome because yeah. that would make sense, Yes, yeah, it right? does make sense. Uh, it's really nice because you can um, put it in your stroller for baby if you're at an amusement park. or um, We did take that to disney and it helped a lot getting my son to sleep in the stroller as we were walking and he's around. a bad napper so again yeah, terrible napper so it did help a lot um so yeah this is really great for that or even if you're just traveling and like at nighttime at uh the hotel or whatever this is great for baby to help them especially when they're in that new environment and they don't know what the heck's going on also helps drown out noise so you can do dishes or watch tv and you don't really have to worry about you know your baby waking up because you clank something too loud or have an older toddler who that likes too. to wake his sister yes. up yeah so one of the things that we absolutely wanted to spend our money on, because we're big budget people, um, we didn't want to spend a ton of money on a lot of the nursery furniture because again, he's going to outgrow it. But one thing that I absolutely wanted to spend the money on was a good recliner. Um, my husband is six foot tall, big guy. So we also needed something that would work for him um, for when he would go in for middle of night wakings or bedtime, things like that. So we ended up actually spending the money. I got a nice lazy boy rocking recliner um, that was comfortable for both of us. And I cannot tell you how much of a lightsaver that has actually been. Um, my son would wake up, um, we transitioned him to his, his room in his crib at six months and he did not stop his night feedings until yesterday no, I'm just <laughs> about a month ago um so i was i have been getting up with him at least once a night if not multiple times a night to nurse or rock him back to sleep um since six months old we have spent a lot of time in that chair and it has been money well spent i do have to say also as they get older it's also a nice option in terms of just nighttime routine and spending that time winding down together our next category of recommendations um has to do with diapering um so like I said, we had different approaches to diapering, so I'll let you go first. So one of the things that um, is an absolute must with cloth diapers was actually a really good idea to carry with you, even if you use disposables, is a wet bag. So I got, this is a really cute print that I have, but it's a little wet bag. Um, they come in different sizes, so you can get smaller ones. Um, but this is great to put your dirty cloth diapers in because um, it's waterproof, smell proof, so you don't have to worry about any messiness. Um, when you're out and about with cloth diapers, but it's really good if you have a spitty baby or you are going to a water park, anything like that, to put wet, dirty things into. Um, you can also use multiple in your bag to help kind of keep your, your things organized a little bit better. For me, in terms of disposable diapers, and I think also for cloth diapering, it's just a little bit of a different way. I would recommend a diaper pail. Um, mm -hmm. There's The most popular one is probably like the Diaper Genie, but you can really use whichever brand. Um, the idea is you just want something that seals mm -hmm. because um, those poopy diapers sitting for a while do tend to odorize an entire room. Um, a lot of smell from a little thing, okay? So just that would be definitely something I would invest in. Yeah, with cloth diapers, though, you have to take a little bit more into consideration because um, you need to worry about airflow because you don't want them getting you know moldy or mildewy. Um, and then also 
cloth diapers are bulkier. Um, and so like the diaper jean just doesn't work. Um, what I found, the one that I really like um, is uh, the decor um, diaper pill. And they come in different sizes. So we've got a really big one downstairs where we do most of our changing and then a smaller one in, the, in his room where we only change a couple times a day. Speaking of dirty diapers, the <laughs> other thing that I would tell you to have, which some people may have already just mm -hmm. as part of their laundering routine, but um, stain remover. So, and yes. I'm not talking like Tide pens. I'm not like, I'm talking like serious stain remover. Um, so between blowouts and poopy diapers mm -hmm. and then baby starting to feed and eat solids for the first time, it is a mess, okay? Yes. So this guy, um, my mother-in-law actually turned me on to. So when we first had our son, she like bought like six bottles of these Goodness. because she came for a week <laughs> and she did our laundry the whole time. Like she was amazing. But um, I had never seen this before. And so this guy has like a little um, brush on the top. But what I do is I kind of do like a hot water rinse of it. We have um, like a laundry sink in our laundry room. But you can do it in your tub or shower or whatever. And then um, I'll go in with this and kind of scrub it out. But it works great for baby messes or messes in general. Clothes that have blowout messes on them that just don't come out. Sunning is a great option. Um, something I learned with cloth diapering. Um, you can actually just whenever your clothes are wet, whether it's a onesie or your cloth diapering um, or, you know, just whatever you have, if it has poop stains on it, um, just make sure it's still wet throw it out, you know, over your railing, or if you have an outdoor clothesline, um, just out in the sun uh, and just let it dry. And that will help bleach out the stain. Sometimes it takes a few times, but it has been amazing getting all of those stains out, whether they're formula or breastfed. The next thing is carriers. Which... Oh, right. Carriers. I loved baby wearing. Um, you still do. I still do actually. <laughs> yes. After you get out of the, um, carrier car seat phase which for me was actually pretty early because i felt like it was such a hassle get pulling out the car seat from the car having, having to get the stroller, stroller out yeah. and open it up and then same thing putting it back in the car like that i just felt like it was a lot easier a lot more convenient plus going into stores you don't have to worry about this bulky uh, stroller that you're trying to push around and maneuver around people and displays and, and you're everything. only limited to the basket otherwise you're having to like pull a basket behind right you especially especially when you're doing a big yeah. you know shopping, shopping trip thing, or something yeah. like that. and then um the next bucket of category is basically wellness or health for baby mm -hmm. um and so the first things are and she was kind of the one that really told me to just like be prepared is mm -hmm. medicines for baby yes so you don't want to be caught without the necessities in the middle of the night. You know, your child wakes up with a fever or is teething and just, you know, cannot settle because they're in pain or, you know, tummy ache, anything like that. So my recommendation, even before baby gets here, is stock up on baby medications. So infant Tylenol is great from um, one month up. Um, baby Motrin um, is great too, but they can't take that until they're six months old. Um, but I still gift that every baby shower I go to, I stock moms up on all these meds. So Tylenol, Motrin, Gripe Water, um, Colic Drops, um, or gas drops. gas drops. And then yeah. Saline Mist is great for a stuffy nose. Um, and then we like to... I like to use that in conjunction with the nose Frida. Mm -hmm. uh, I would also recommend a temporal thermometer. You mm -hmm. don't have to get that brand. All sorts of brands make them now. But the reason I say that is if you're monitoring a child's temperature through the night, you, it's a nice option. So you can pop in, scan their forehead, make sure that their temperature is either dropping or isn't spiking again, um, and get out with being the least disruptive as possible. This is huge. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> this thing <laughs> um, is a baby bath tub and the reason that I like it so much because there are smaller options it's like that commercial the loves commercial it's like first kid and they're like in the sink and then it's like second kid and they're like handing off babies from inside the shower it's pretty accurate that's basically my life um even with our first it just wasn't practical for us to um, bathe him separately you can use it as a tub for your child um, so in the shower we can fill it and they can play with toys and stuff in there when they're young and it helps to keep them um, propped and positioned up so that they don't topple over on the tile um, but I also really like it because it has this little canopy guy in it I don't know or hammock I guess I don't yeah, know if hammock. you can tell um, and so you can use it with that for infant and they can kind of lay in it. And so, um, it's really soothing for babies. So if you have babies that are sick or anything like that, laying them in the water and letting them kind of soak like that is helpful. So that tub is great if you have a nice big walk-in shower. Um, our shower isn't quite as big as hers. So that was a little on the bulky side. So what we ended up using was, um, this kind of sling from Summer Infant. 
Um, I really liked it. You Here, I'll see. hold it for there you. There we go. I'll be your Vanna White. It's a little bit more compact. Um, and then these little things, it like folds up so it, you can actually fold it down flat for storage and just kind of set it against a wall to dry. Um, this thing also comes with these little wings with Velcro somewhere over here. So they actually attach to the sling and then you can use those to cover baby so baby doesn't get cold. And that was great until he also decided that he liked to explore because my son is an explorer. So he... read her blog about <laughs> kinesthetic learners. Yes, he is all over the place. Um, so it got to the point where that wasn't safe. So at that point, we moved his little tub into his bathroom and kept him in that until he was nice and sturdy on his own and then graduated him to the big full-size tub. Those so. are our first categories of recommendations. So make sure you come back if you wanna see the rest in our baby must-haves part two dose. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>